So Samsung's laptop bods have clearly been hard at work in 2021 as Sammy just launched three fresh Galaxy books at its latest unpacked event. All with a strong emphasis on portability, which might actually come in pretty handy as we eventually come crawling out of lockdown, cowering at the shock of seeing the sunlight again like we're sodden vampires or something. You've got a Galaxy Book and a Galaxy Book Pro if you're a bit more minted and fancy upgraded specs, plus a Galaxy Book Pro 360 model which can transform into a big ass tablet with S Pen support. Now and a chance to play with all three of these fresh new Galaxy Book 2021 devices at a Samsung hands-on event and here's all you need to know about all three of them and how they stack up and for more on the latest greatest tech please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now while the standard Galaxy Book only comes in a 15.6 inch size option the Pro and the Pro 360 can be snaffled in either 15.6 or 13.3 inches depending on how big you like it. Speaking of big, the bog standard Galaxy Book is chunkier and heavier than its siblings at 1.55 kilos and 15.4 millimeters. In contrast, the 15.6 inch Galaxy Book Pro 360 is 1.39 kilos and 11.9 millimeters, while the same size of Galaxy Book Pro is impressively lightweight at just a shade over one kilo with a suitably svelte 11.7 mil finish. And if you go for the 13 inch versions, they are slimmer and lighter again, so absolutely perfect for carrying when you head on out. But though personally, my only outside time Time right now involves occasionally emptying the bins and sometimes I'll just step out of the front door to shake my fist to the sky and have a bit of a scream. Now part of the reason that the Galaxy Book Pro is so light is because Samsung mixed in some magnesium during construction while the others go for a straight up aluminium finish. And all three of Samsung's new Galaxy Book laptops are military standard 810G certified which means they're tougher than a sack of angry aardvarks. They can certainly cope with sudden shocks and drops not to mention high and low temperatures and a good bit of humidity as well while the Galaxy Book Pro 360 can even handle a bit of sea spray action. As for colours, the Pro laptops come in a choice of Mystic Navy or Mystic Silver, while the standard Galaxy Book can be had in Mystic Blue or Mystic Silver, and these here are the silver ones. I don't know what's mystic about them, but they look rather nice. And if the thought of convenient connectivity gets you all hot and bothered, then Samsung's new Galaxy Books certainly will not disappoint. You've got dual USB-A and USB-C ports on the standard model, plus HDMI and micro SD slots, while the skinny chassis on the Pro cuts out one of those USB-A ports, but makes up for it by adding Thunderbolt 4 support to one of those Type-C connections. And the Galaxy Book Pro 360, meanwhile, sports a micro SD slot, plus three USB-C ports, one of which is again Thunderbolt 4. Now, Samsung generally nails the keyboards on its laptops, and certainly the new Galaxy Books are an absolute pleasure to type on, with boards that stretch the entire width of the chassis. The Pro models in particular are great with a super quiet type in action thanks to the scissor mechanism although you may prefer the deeper travel on the standard galaxy book but whatever your choice you've got full backlighting on there it's adaptive backlighting i believe just on the pro and the pro 360 model and you've also got the option of a fingerprint sensor built into that power button as well so you can wake up the laptop and unlock it with one quick poke Meanwhile, the touchpads basically fill the palm rest and they don't seem to suck, which is good news if you leave your mouse at home. And all three of these Sammy laptops sport a basic 720p webcam plus a dual array mic setup for all of your video conferencing shenanigans. Although I for one can't wait for the day we can just pour petrol all over Microsoft Teams and put it and us out of our bloody misery. Now the standard Galaxy Book is a bit of a downgrade compared with the others when it comes to the screen tech. What you've got here is a basic PLS display while the Pro models rock an AMOLED panel with punch color reproduction and super sharp contrast. These screens are VESA Display HDR500 certified and those visuals certainly looked great in my brief hands-on time. No matter your choice of actual model or the size of each model, you will get full HD plus visuals, which seems to keep things nice and crisp. But of course, I'll be testing the full color accuracy, the brightness levels and all that good stuff when I actually get my hands on these things for the full review. And that Galaxy Book Pro 360 is the only one of the new trio to sport a touch screen and it can quickly convert into a chunky tablet by flipping the screen over. Although unless you're going to be using it in quick spurts, I would certainly want to rest it on a table or something unless you've got biceps the size of Brussels, which I kind of don't. The Pro 360 comes with Samsung's S Pen stylus as well, but the laptop is lacking in orifices to stick the pen inside of when it's not in use, so that thing is going to be lost for all time after just a matter of hours if you're an absolute klutz like me. Now, audio is pumped out of a stereo speaker setup on all of these laptops with Dolby Atmos support. 
and on top volume they definitely churn out some loud clear sound despite the speaker grills being shunted away beneath the chassis. Now storage wise you can grab up to an NVMe SSD with 512 gigs of space a maximum and on the network in front well you've got Wi-Fi 6E support on board all of these laptops but unfortunately if you want a bit of LTE connectivity well that's only offered by the standard Galaxy Book and also the 13.3 inch Galaxy Book Pro. As for the grunt well all of Samsung's latest laptops are powered by 11th gen Intel processors with integrated Iris Xe graphics and it's Core i5 or Core i7 depending on how much cash again that you throw at Sammy. That should prove absolutely fine for your everyday shenanigans whether you're a student, a home worker, whatever you're up to though if you are a content creator then you might struggle a bit with more intensive tasks like video editing and gaming well you might want to limit yourself to a better minesweeper that'll run like a dream though. And those Intel chipsets are backed by up to 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM if you opt for a 13 inch laptop otherwise if you upgrade to a 15 inch where well, you can double that to 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Windows has been enhanced by the usual plethora of Samsung shenanigans including a good bit of security action such as the narrow view and angle efforts so bystanders can't have a nose at what you're up to. Not that you'd be up to anything dodgy of course you certainly wouldn't be googling for nasty technical anime stuff not in your local Starbucks. You've got all the usual Samsung ecosystem features as well including smart things for connecting to all your shiny smart home goodies and the ability to pair up with other Samsung devices such as for instance the Galaxy tablet to use it as a second screen or your Galaxy Buds so you can swap the audio between your Galaxy Book laptop and your Galaxy smartphone. As for the price of these shiny wig buggers, well, the standard Samsung Galaxy Book starts from 699 quid for the Wi Fi only Core i5 model with 256 gigs of storage, rising to 1099 quid for the beefier Core i7 version with LTE support and double that storage. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Book Pro starts from 1099 and the Pro 360 will cost you at least 1199 quid. Here's all the different SKUs here, anyways, I can't be bothered to rattle them all off. Now, pre orders open from today with the added incentive of a free pair of Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, the true wireless earbuds which I've reviewed right here on Techspert, probably while stocks last or some other small print. Otherwise, if you just want to buy one from a shop, which are actually open now, hip hip hurrah, we can grab one from Friday, May the 14th, the usual high street uh, suspects, otherwise you can get one direct from Samsung itself. So right there in a nutshell is the new Samsung Galaxy Book laptops for 2021. As I say, I'm hoping to get my hands on these to get them a full on test out and get you my review shortly, but uh, stay tuned for that. Pog subscribe, ding that notifications bell if you want to be the first to see that lovely shiz going live and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you!